Hello and welcome to episode one in the series for third-party content for the SAP integration suite. We're going to show you just how easy it is to integrate third-party applications, legacy systems, and cloud solutions with SAP integration suite. In this video, we want to focus on a scenario with the CRM platform Salesforce. Integrated with S4HANA Cloud, you can synchronize key data like products, customers, or prices in real time, improving your processes and heightening your efficiency. I will go through the entire process step by step so you can follow along and see just how easy it is. Your first objective is to make use of SAP's wide range of available standard content, including APIs, events, and integration content such as iFlows or message mappings. Simply select the systems you want to integrate on the API Business Accelerator Hub and select the object you're interested in for a detailed view. Just like in an iFlow editor, you will be able to look at the iFlow and view the configuration details. In our case, we want to replicate accounts from an S4 HANA cloud system to Salesforce. In the iFlow, you can see that data is retrieved from the S4 system, transformed into a Salesforce compatible format called S objects, and finally sent to Salesforce via the Salesforce adapter. To leverage this scenario, we now need to prepare the source system S4 HANA, the target system Salesforce, as well as the middleware SAP Cloud integration. Let's begin with S4. Access your Fiori Launchpad and select the tile Communication Management. Here, you will see three parts that are relevant for our configuration. Communication arrangements need to be activated in S4 HANA Cloud for communication with OData APIs. Here, all relevant information for an interface is stored. A communication system is a specification of a system that represents a communication partner. This in turn necessitates a technical communication user with which all data services in S4 can be called from cloud integration. To set this up, we can click on the tile and enter username, password, and description. Let's move back to create the communication system. Here we can enter the CPI runtime URL in the host field and add a name for logical system and business system. We also add the inbound communication user we just created. To conclude our setup in S4, we have to create the appropriate communication arrangement. This can be found in the official documentation or in the configuration guide of the scenario in the API Business Accelerator Hub. We can now assign our communication system and check that the inbound user section is filled in. As we don't need any outbound services, these can be deactivated for now. For the configuration in the Salesforce system, you can follow along the steps in the configuration guide. Next, we need to pull the standard content off of the API Business Accelerator Hub so that we can run it on the cloud integration tenant. This can be found in the Discover section. You can see all of the iFlows available in this package, including the flow for account replication. Click on Copy and then move to the Design section. You can now find the copied package. Lastly, the iFlow must be configured with environment-specific parameters. For this, we need to set up the credentials from the S4 and Salesforce systems. Once done, you can configure the iFlow, adding all of the required information and deploy. We now want to create a new account in the S4 system, which is then pulled by the iFlow and sent to Salesforce. Add all of the required information and click Save. 
Move to the Cloud Integration Monitoring section to check if the iFlow has picked up the business partner. Note that you might have to wait or change the schedule to pick up the newly created business partner. By altering the configurable timestamp in the flow, you can choose which business partners get picked up by S4. Your message run should be marked as completed. Click on the trace and select the step Salesforce to verify which payload was sent to the Salesforce system. Here you should see your newly created business partner that you have now successfully transferred to Salesforce. And there you have it. You are up and running with your S4 Salesforce integration scenario. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for other third-party integration scenarios coming up in this series.